In this episode, we're going to find out how to make logos and stuff fly around the screen. Like this. Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the new look media channel. I'm your old look host, William Hugh. Recently, I had this message flood in from Alwyn Gamer TV. Hey William, I was thinking that you could make a video of how did you make that flying effect where the thumbs up just flies to the screen. And he's right, I could, and in fact will, and you will not believe how easy it is. This way please. First get your logo or image. It needs to be in PNG format with a transparent background. Now you can either make your own with your favourite photo editing programme, or do what I've done, and download one of your choice from Google Images. Now open up Sony Vegas Pro, and this should work in all versions from 8 up. Open the clip you're going to use and place it on the timeline. Now we will need another video track above the clip, so if there isn't one already then click on insert, then video track, and there it is. Next drag your PNG in and park it on said track above the clip, and trim to length. Now the logo looks fine apart from being too big and in the wrong place but we can fix that with keyframes. So run your clip up to the point where you want your logo to end up. Then click on the event pan crop tool here, and there it is. Now I'll just click on here and use my mouse wheel to zoom out to make it easier to see. Now the first thing to notice is that the logo is a different aspect ratio to my clip. So I'll just fix that by clicking here and changing it to widescreen, the same as my clip. And now I can pull the frame in and out, which makes the logo bigger or smaller, and I can move it around to place the logo where I want it to end up, which is here. And you will notice a keyframe recording this position has automatically been created on the timeline, here. If we now run the clip from the beginning, we can see that the logo changes position and size. This is because it's transitioning between the first keyframe here and the one we made here. Now we want the logo to not change size, so click on the first keyframe, then right click and delete. We can now drag our keyframe to the beginning, and as there are no other keyframes on the timeline, the logo will stay put for the length of the clip. Now play the clip and decide at what point you want the logo to first appear. I'm going to go for here, just before the words fly around the screen. So now I'll grab the edge of the clip and trim it to that point. And now I'll run the clip up to the point where I want the logo to finally settle. I'll go with here. Now drag the top corner of the clip and drag it to produce a fade between those two points. And if we play it, we can see the fade in action. Good. And now for the magic. Click the Transitions tab here, and you'll see all sorts of transitions available for our use. And indeed, we could use any of them. But for this demo, I'm going to go with the spiral ones. I want one that will bring the logo in. So this one, spiral in and up, looks ideal. So just drag and drop it onto the fade we made, and I'll leave all the adjustments at default. Now play the clip and watch the magic. Fly around the screen like this. And if you think the timing needs a bit of a tweak, then that's easily done by sliding the clip on the timeline logos and stuff fly around the screen like this. That's better. And as you probably guessed, to fly the logo out, simply add a fade at the end and choose an out transition. And that's all there is to it. Render to video and this is what you get. In this episode we're going to find out how to make logos and stuff fly around the screen like this. So there you go, and effects really don't come easier than that. Hope you liked it. Well, that is the lot for now. If you liked it, why not give us a thumbs up? There it is again. And if you really liked it, then why not hit the subscribe thingy if you haven't already done so. That way, you're guaranteed to see me here next time and every time. On the Media Channel.
If you did like it, why not give us if you did like us? If you what? And if you really liked it, then hit the subscribe thingy if you haven't already done so. That way, you are guaranteed to see me here next. <laughs> guaranteed to see me here. <laughs>